Welcome back to Park and Post. Have you ever found yourself aimlessly wandering through airport shops, tempted by everything you see? Well, you're not alone. But today, I am about to change that game. I'm here to guide you through the 15 things you should never buy at the airport and why. From overpriced water to those last-minute upgrades that seem tempting but are total traps, I will give you all the inside scoop. So buckle up and prepare for takeoff as we embark on a journey to smarter, more conscious travel spending. Let's dive in and save you some money for what really matters, making unforgettable memories around the world. Let's delve into each item with a more detailed perspective, including reasons and examples that highlight the drawbacks of last-minute purchases before flying out. Number one, bottled water. It's like gold at airports, but think about it. Why pay more for something that's free? Just bring an empty bottle and fill it up past security. Purchasing bottled water right before a flight is both economically and environmentally unfavorable. Airport security measures prevent passengers from bringing liquids over 100 milliliters through checkpoints, compelling many to buy overpriced bottled water once past security. For instance, a traveler might end up paying three to four times the regular retail price for a bottle of water at the airport. An environmentally conscious alternative is carrying an empty, reusable bottle. This approach not only saves money, but also reduces plastic waste. For example, someone could fill up their bottle at a water fountain after passing security, ensuring they stay hydrated without the extra cost or environmental impact. Number two, overpriced snacks. Snack attacks at the airport can lead to wallet woes. Pack your own snacks and watch your savings take flight. Airports are notorious for the high markup on food items, including snacks. A bag of chips or a chocolate bar can cost double or triple its usual price. Consider a family traveling on vacation. Purchasing snacks for each member at these inflated prices could significantly increase their travel expenses. A better strategy is to pack snacks from home or a local supermarket. For instance, preparing a mix of nuts, fruits, and sandwiches not only caters to personal taste preferences, but also controls spending, ensuring a more budget-friendly trip. Number three, tempted to exchange currency at the airport? Think again. Those booths boast some of the worst rates. Instead, get your cash beforehand or use an ATM at your destination for the best deals. Exchanging currency at airport booths is a common mistake due to convenience but comes at the cost of higher fees and less favorable exchange rates. A traveler exchanging money for a trip to Europe might lose a significant amount of their budget to these fees. As an alternative, using a bank or an ATM at the destination often results in better rates. Another scenario involves a businessman who, by planning ahead and exchanging currency at a local bank, not only received a better rate, but also avoided the stress of last-minute transactions. Number four, travel-sized toiletries. Those mini toiletries might look cute, but they're a budget buster. Pack your own in reusable containers. It's kinder to your wallet and the planet. Although they seem convenient, travel-sized toiletries are not cost-effective. Buying these at the airport is even more expensive due to the markup. For example, purchasing a travel-size shampoo could cost the same as a full-size bottle at a regular store. Instead, investing in reusable mini-bottles that can be filled from larger, economically-sized products at home is both cost-efficient and environmentally friendly. Imagine a frequent traveler who buys a set of refillable bottles once and reuses them for years, saving money and reducing waste with each trip. Number five, craving some flight reading? Airport prices can soar higher than your plane. Download eBooks or podcasts before you leave home for a fraction of the cost. The price of reading materials like magazines and books is significantly higher at airports. A traveler looking to buy a best-selling novel for the flight might find it priced much higher than at a local bookstore. The alternative is to bring materials from home or to utilize electronic devices. 
E-readers and tablets can store multiple books and magazines in a compact form, offering a vast selection of reading material without the extra cost or weight. For example, a student traveling home for the holidays could download several academic papers and novels to their tablet, ensuring they have plenty to read without spending extra. Before we move on, I want to take a moment to express my gratitude. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe and click the bell to be notified of our latest travel tips and share this information with your friends and family. But let's get back to the topic, 15 things you're wasting money on at the airport. Number six, forgot your headphones? Buying electronics at the airport can lead to price shock. Plan ahead and buy online or at a local store to save. Last-minute purchases of electronics and accessories at airports come with a premium price tag. For instance, buying a pair of headphones could cost significantly more than the regular retail price. Instead, planning ahead and purchasing these items online or at a local electronics store can lead to substantial savings. Consider a scenario where a business traveler realizes they've forgotten their phone charger. Buying a replacement at the airport could be costly, whereas bringing an extra charger from home or purchasing one at a regular price beforehand avoids the markup. Number 7. Prepaid travel cards might seem convenient, but the fees are steep. Look into no foreign transaction fee credit cards or local SIM cards for better value. While offering the convenience of carrying digital cash, prepaid travel cards come with drawbacks such as high fees and unfavorable exchange rates when purchased at the airport. A tourist might end up paying substantial transaction fees every time they use the card, in addition to an unfavorable exchange rate applied to their purchases. A more economical and convenient alternative is using a no foreign transaction fee credit card or withdrawing cash from ATMs as needed. For instance, a couple traveling abroad researched and obtained a credit card with no foreign transaction fees and favorable exchange rates, saving them money throughout their trip. Number 8. Seeking comfort? Airport travel pillows and blankets often come with a luxury price tag but economic comfort. Bring your own to ensure quality and savings. The cost of travel pillows and blankets at airports is often inflated, and the quality may not justify the price. A traveler buying a travel pillow for a long-haul flight might find it uncomfortable and not worth the high cost. Bringing a small rolled-up fleece blanket and a U-shaped neck pillow from home ensures comfort without the unnecessary expense. For example, a family preparing for an overnight flight could bring compact travel blankets and pillows from home, ensuring comfort for everyone without paying the airport premium. Number 9. Impulse Upgrade at the Airport? Hold that credit card. Last-minute deals can be a myth. Book early or use loyalty points for real upgrades. Purchasing last-minute flights or upgrades at the airport can be extremely costly. Airlines often charge a premium for these last-minute changes. A couple looking to upgrade to business class at the airport might end up paying significantly more than if they had booked in advance or used loyalty points. A smarter strategy involves checking upgrade options online before the flight or using frequent flyer status to secure a better seat. For example, a solo traveler could use an airline's mobile app to monitor upgrade availability and costs, potentially snagging a last-minute deal without the exorbitant airport prices. Number 10. Last-minute travel insurance at the airport can cost a premium for less coverage. Compare and buy in advance online to get the best deal and the right coverage. Buying travel insurance at the last minute, especially from airport kiosks or airline counters, can lead to higher premiums for coverage that may not be comprehensive. A family embarking on a multi-country vacation might purchase insurance in a rush and miss out on cheaper, more extensive coverage available online. Researching and purchasing travel insurance weeks before the trip allows travelers to compare options and choose a plan that best suits their needs, often at a lower cost. For instance, 
A couple planning a honeymoon could find a travel insurance policy online that covers everything from trip cancellations to medical emergencies, ensuring peace of mind at a fraction of the airport price. Number 11. Parking at the airport can eat into your travel funds fast. Look for off-site parking or consider a rideshare to save big time. Airport parking fees can be exorbitantly high, particularly for long-term parking. A business traveler parking their car at the airport for a week-long trip might end up paying as much as the cost of their flight. Alternatives like off-site parking, rideshare services, or public transportation can significantly reduce costs. For example, a family going on a two-week vacation could use a rideshare service to get to and from the airport, saving hundreds of dollars in parking fees. Number 12. Duty-free doesn't always mean deal-free. Some luxury items can be found cheaper online or back home. Do your research before splurging. While duty-free shopping can offer tax advantages, not all deals are bargains. Prices for luxury goods can be similar to or even higher than what you would pay in regular stores, especially when considering online or outlet prices. A shopper might purchase a designer handbag at the airport duty-free, only to find it cheaper online or at a store in their destination city. Doing price comparisons before traveling can prevent such costly mistakes. For instance, a fashion enthusiast could save by purchasing a watch from an online retailer instead of at the airport, even after accounting for taxes. Attention all travel aficionados. Are you seeking a seamless travel experience? Let's dive into a revolutionary solution for all your travel challenges, especially those pesky early flights and long layovers that throw a wrench in your plans. Imagine arriving at the airport a day early, parking your car in a secure spot, relaxing in a cozy hotel for the night, and then hopping on a direct shuttle to your terminal the next morning. This is the ultimate in hassle-free travel. Dive into our special packages that blend parking, accommodation, and shuttle transport to streamline your travel process. Wave goodbye to the stress of catching your early flight or the exhaustion from a late-night journey home. Why sacrifice your rest or worry about parking when you can kickstart your trip with ease? Choosing Park Sleep Fly is your ticket to convenience, security, and peace of mind. And the cherry on top? It's all just a click away. As you plan your next adventure, don't forget to click on the exclusive discount link below to unlock the best deals and packages customized for your travel needs. Number 13. Buying a SIM card at the airport can come with a convenience markup. Plan ahead and purchase one online or find local options once you arrive. Buying a SIM card at the airport can be convenient but often comes at a premium. Travelers can end up paying more for less data compared to local rates. A tourist purchasing a SIM card for a two-week trip might find a much better deal at a local store or through an online service. An alternative is to order a SIM card ahead of time or to use eSIM technology if their phone supports it. For example, a student studying abroad could order a local SIM card online to pick up upon arrival or activate an eSIM, ensuring connectivity without the airport markup. Number 14. A broken suitcase handle doesn't mean you have to pay airport prices for new luggage. Buy quality luggage in advance or use a luggage repair service. Purchasing luggage at the airport is typically more expensive due to the limited options and high markups. A traveler whose suitcase breaks at the last minute might be forced to buy a replacement at a steep price. Planning ahead and buying luggage from retailers during sales or using online platforms can offer better deals. For instance, a couple planning a vacation could buy high-quality, durable suitcases during off-season sales, avoiding the need for a last-minute, costly airport purchase. Okay, now, don't forget to join our free newsletter and become a friend of Park & Post. By signing up, you'll receive exclusive offers and updates. Click the link below to join our newsletter and start enjoying the benefits today. Number 15. Gadgets designed for travel can be tempting but often underperform and overcharge. 
Invest in versatile electronics and tools that serve multiple purposes without the extra cost. Gadgets marketed as travel-sized or specifically for travelers are often overpriced and underperform compared to their full-size counterparts. Buying these items at the airport can lead to paying a premium for the convenience. A traveler might buy a compact travel iron or steamer only to find it less effective and more expensive than expected. A better approach is to assess the necessity of such gadgets or to find multi-purpose devices that serve the same function. For example, a business traveler could choose a hotel with laundry services or pack clothes that don't wrinkle easily, negating the need for a travel-sized iron. And just like that, we've navigated through the airport jungle of unnecessary spending. Who knew that being a savvy traveler could be so empowering? You're now equipped to breeze through the airport without your wallet taking a detour. Remember, every penny saved is a penny you can use towards your next grand adventure or that extra special experience you've been dreaming of. If you've enjoyed this flight through savings and smart travel tips, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you won't miss any of our future journeys together. Share this video with your fellow travelers and let's spread the word on traveling smarter, not harder. Until next time, keep exploring, keep dreaming, and most importantly, keep saving. Safe travels. We'll catch you in the next video.